Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, evening. Bienvenidos. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Welcome to Triumph's virtual spiritual gathering. It's Sunday, December 26th. Wow, we. <laughs> wow, we. Um, our theme for today is gratitude and joy. And we'll start with our quote, as usual, by Karl Barth. Joy is the simplest form of gratitude. I agree. So today we'll be celebrating, enjoying our time together through gratitude and community connection. This is our basic outline for today. We're really gonna be celebrating with music a lot today. So you'll be hearing a lot of beautiful voices and instruments and happiness in that sense. Um, but we have our usual opening. Um, we'll share our opening prayer, our life affirming principles. I'll lead a brief meditation, a little bit of info about triumph. Um, and we have some of our segments. Um, if our friends from Nigeria are on, we'll speak with them a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about the holiday Kwanzaa, uh, and then we'll get into some of our music, and we'll close out by reflecting on some of Triumph's core values, and we'll end around 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So our scripture reading, it's from Romans 15, 13. It says, now may God, the fountain of hope, fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace as you trust in him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with his super abundance until you radiate with hope. Ooh, I like the word radiate in the sense yes. that our happiness and love and joy is also, it's not only from within, it's expanding outwards. It's radiating. <laughs> so at this point, let's go through a brief grounding together. Um, this quote says, I will practice gratitude to access joy. So let's, let's do that right now together. As always, get into a comfy position. Take a nice deep breath. And you may breathe at any rate that you feel comfortable. I have my singing bowl with me as always. And as it resonates, I invite you to breathe along with it, to sink your breath up if you feel inspired to. I like to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Today, let's do a body scan, but let's start at our feet. Let's start even below our feet. You might be in a building or indoors somewhere where the, the soil and the ground is not right underneath you, but it is underneath the foundation that you are in. And in that soil are all the nutrients, the little bugs, rocks, plants and weeds, maybe even some bones and decaying bits, bits that used to be alive and are still a part of this ecosystem, just in a different spot now. And even below that, we go down to the earth's mantle, to the center of the earth, if you can imagine, where there's warmth, where there's warm and light energy. Mother Earth is there, she's everywhere, but that is her core. 
and we are connected to it always. That warm energy passes up through all the layers of earth, up through the soil, up through the buildings that we have created and right to the soles of our feet. Through our toes, our ankles, our calves, our knees, our thighs. And we feel all this beautiful warmth, this strength in our legs now that we are connecting with source but it doesn't stop there. It continues up through our hips, through our groin, our bottom, our belly button, <laughs> our stomach, our waist, our lungs and our ribs, and all the while we're breathing deeply, connecting with source, feeling the strength And it goes up to our heart, to our chest, to our shoulders, our arms and our hands and our fingers are alive with this warm strength. <laughs> our neck, our jaw, our tongue, our ears, nose, eyes, our forehead, and all the way up to our crowns, our holy, and divine crowns. And we have this warm strength throughout us, radiating through us. And when I feel this connection to source, I think to myself, how grateful am I <laughs> to be able to visualize this and experience this connection, to feel connected to myself and my body, my physical form, but also to the earth and all the other living beings that have the potential to connect this way. And any time that I feel fearful or stressed, I can always take a deep breath and connect right back to mother earth. And it doesn't stop at my crown, it radiates out further high into the sky through the branches of the trees, through the clouds, and to the rest of the universe, I am connected. And I'm happy to be connected. And I can carry this strength with me everywhere. Let's close out by taking a few more breaths and kind of just letting out any pressure, any tension, any noise, any sigh that you feel like on the exhale. So let's do inhale and out and inhale and out. And let's do one more inhale and out. How nice that feels. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. If at any time throughout the gathering you feel like you just need to take it easy and take a breath, do so. And each time you breathe, it's a reminder of your divinity. It's a reminder of your strength. Let us move on. <laughs> So hi, everybody, official welcome to those on the Zoom call, to those watching us online and those watching us in the future. If you're watching a recording, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we love you. It's December 26th, the last Sunday in the year. And today we'll focus on gratitude and joy as we end 2021 and prepare for the next year. Wow. <laughs> we invite you to join in the celebration with music, singing, poetry, and sharing with us some of your moments of gratitude and joy from this year. So those of you on the Zoom call, those watching online, if you'd like to use the chat box or comment, 
Um, or if you are on the call and want to unmute and speak, you are welcome to do so at any time. We'll have a portion where everyone can kind of just contribute anything creative and again, any moments of gratitude that they'd like to share. Today also begins Kwanzaa. So we'll share some information about its history and how it's celebrated. Um, and we'll see how it goes. We'll go with the flow. We're happy to have you. As always, the Christ in me celebrates the Christ in you and together we'll make our world brand new. Welcome to Triumph. Next, we have our life affirming principles read by Nadia. Uh, Triumph seven life affirming principles, basis of union. One, we affirm that life is in the bread and bread is life. Therefore, we join together to promote our shared humanity and inseparable bread. We affirm that we are born whole, complete as perfect manifestations of the universal mind, Christ. We affirm our physical bodies differ and as such may present different challenges, limitations, or privileges that everyone may not share in. Therefore, we join together to share our strengths and support one another where there may be weaknesses so that we all may enjoy the fullness of life. We affirm that our agreement is to pursue peace, walk in truth, uphold justice tempered with mercy. We affirm that we are like branches on a tree. Although we may grow in different directions, we share a common root, and as such, we pledge to respect each person's path, even as it may differ from one's own. We agree to walk in agreement that it's all right, to disagree and we protect and safeguard this right in so much as the state of disagreement upholds an affirmation of life. Six, we affirm that community building is the process of communal shared principles, shared resources, as well as equitable access to resources. Therefore, we commit to being agents of an open culture that welcomes everyone to participate in the life of the community with the provision that we also hold each other accountable for acts that do not support the life affirming principles of our awareness, while equally looking for and enacting a commitment to forgive and restoring the spirit of humility and love. Lastly, we affirm the earth and all that dwell therein are manifestations held within the universal mind and humanity's role is to be faithful stewards of this earth by demonstrating respect and dignity for all beings, the sacredness of Mother Earth and our commitment to caring for her as we care for ourselves. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next is our opening prayer. We're going to have Raphael come before we do the prayer. Okay, cool. You're up, Raphael. Am I going to play? Yes, yes. Okay. Good choice. <laughs>
I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> what do you what did you just improvise or is this a piece that has a name? Yeah, I improvised something, but it's a piece called uh, a, a what and two lovers from uh, by a, a, a Brazilian composer called Guilherme do Reis. It's a beautiful piece that I played that maybe Wesley that that teach me this, that piece, I, I think. <laughs> I've never learned that one. <laughs> it wasn't it's me. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's yes. beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Also, you look really happy when you play. You just had like a big smile. Like you look excited. Yeah. Yeah. You look joyful. <laughs> yeah. When I, when, I, when I play this piece, I feel joy. Joy and gratitude. Thank you. I'm happy you do. All right. So I guess next is our opening prayer. I'm happy to read it. Unity of all, Hanto Yo. Hanto Yo means clear the way in the Lakota. So let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Let us pray. God of surprises, you call us from the narrowness of our traditions to new ways of being church, from the captivities of our culture to creative witness for justice, from the smallness of our horizons to the bigness of your vision, clear the way in us, your people, that we might call others to freedom and renewed faith. Clear the way in us, your people, that we might call others to wholeness and integrity, great spirit, you call us from fear to faithfulness, from clutter to clarity, from a desire to control to deeper trust, from the refusal to love to a readiness to risk. Clear the way in us, your people, that we might all know the beauty and power and danger of the gospel. Ashe. Ashe. Clear the way for joy clear the way for gratitude. All right, so some information about Triumph Life Center. It's located in Canarsie, Brooklyn, and we opened on October 19th, 2019, under Triumph, the Church of the New Age International, founded in 1904. We seek to further the work of founder Bishop Elias Dempsey Smith, who taught life-affirming spiritual principles. Our vision is of an interdependent community where all may share in the fullness of life. Our mission is to promote the creation of new cultural practices and social and economic systems that are egalitarian, affirms our shared humanity, and holds sacred the earth and all life forms. To create a sacred space where marginalized communities can expand both their spiritual and intellectual life and gain access through shared resources, and to honor the Sabbath as a time for individual and collective spiritual, physical, emotional, and mental well being through shared music, spoken word, sacred readings, and a communal meal when we are in person together. Our goal is to be a hub for engaging conversations, creative arts expressions, expanding reverence and care for the earth and all life forms forming alliances and building bridges across community barriers that mutually affirm our shared humanity, where people of all faiths, cultures, ethnicities, races, genders, orientations, abilities, personal challenges are in community with each other on one accord. <laughs> I say. Next we'll be sharing our sacred readings. So um, that Reverend poetry. Beverly's coming first. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> you let me know. So whenever you're ready, Beverly. Okay. And just share the slide as she's singing. Hold on a moment, Reverend Beverly. Um, Reverend Beverly is off camera, and we're just going to um, kind of bask in her uh, music as we share the slide as she sang. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. 
She's gonna do Jesus. one song now and then a song later for us. Okay. Go ahead. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus. So lowly, meek and mild. New life, new hope to all he brings. Listen to the angels sing glory, glory, glory to the new born king. He was heralded by the angels, born in a lonely manger. The Virgin Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar. They were guided by a shining star to see King Jesus where he lay in the manger filled with hay. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus. Jesus, so lowly, meek and mild, new life, new hope to all he brings. Listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the new born king. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That was cool. <laughs> wonderful. Snaps. I can feel the blues spirit here. <laughs> so, so Brenda, we can take turns sharing the sacred readings. You, me, if Nadia wants to share one. Um, and uh, Wes, I don't know if you and, and Gab Raphael want to go between, however y'all want to do it with the music. Awesome. Well, I'm going to start over with a song called Tenho Sede, which means I'm thirsty. And then after that, I'll, I'll keep improvising okay. <laughs> and see how it feels. Gratitude. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Gratitude by Melody BT. Giving is All We Have by Alberto Rios. One river gives its journey to the next. We give because someone gave to us. 
We give because nobody gave to us. We give because giving has changed us. We give because giving could have changed us. We have been better for it. We have been wounded by it. Giving has many faces. It is loud and quiet. Big, though small, diamond in wood nails. Its story is old, the plot worn, and the pages too. But we read this book anyway, over and again. Giving is, first and every time, hand to hand, mine to yours, yours to mine. You gave me blue and I gave you yellow. Together we are simple green. You gave me what you did not have and I gave you what I had to give. Together, we made something greater from the difference. Unknown, be thankful yet that you don't already have everything. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations, because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your, your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. It is easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. Welcome home. We've been watching you for a long time to endure so much and still have a pure heart. We can't rewind time, but we can give you a fresh start. What you've been through will become beautiful art. Welcome home. This is the place your scars will become testimonies. Your rebirth will be a ceremony. Welcome home. This is where you belong. Welcome to Triumph Church. Welcome home by Travis Mills. That was really cool, yeah really cool it would be really exciting to see you play it together in person oh my gosh the energy <laughs> the communication through music that's awesome maybe today uh, i'm gonna play the the august Marsu harmony and wesley is gonna it, 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 he is gonna improvise in this song today <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> okay so a reminder, everyone, on the last Sunday of the year, we are launching our annual pledge drive. There is a form online that you can fill out um, where you can specify the frequency of your donation, 
your pledge, um, and which ministries you are interested in donating to specifically. There's three ways that you can give via email invoice, where you will pay securely online using a card, via cash app, our username is dollar sign triumph 2020 or uh, via check or money order in the mail. Um, our address is PO box 2157, Newark, New Jersey 07114. We sincerely appreciate all of your support, your donations, your time, your effort. Everything is important and helps us to create and helps us to be here with you all. Um, also, thank you to all of those who have already donated so far this year. We, again, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have anything to say in regards to the pledge drive? No, we're just happy to be ending this year with such wonderful supporters and donors and looking forward to continuing ministry into the new year. So thank you, everyone. You can find more at our website. It's on our social media page. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat box to take a look. Thank you, everyone. This is our outline, what you can expect for today. I don't think we have anyone from Nigeria on today, so we will, nope, I don't see anyone. <laughs> yeah, I think they were having trouble connecting. So um, we'll see if they come on before we end, all right? If anyone is interested though, the recording of the, um, I think two weeks ago that they hosted, um, Triumph Nigeria hosted the Sunday gathering and there was like wonderful music and, and prayers and just like good community vibes. That recording is on YouTube now if you're interested in taking a look or hearing back some of the music. It was awesome. It was. Just a plug. It was. It was. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll go into a little bit about our discussion of Kwanzaa and we'll get into some more music and creative parts of the call. And then again, we'll close out with discussing some of Triumph's core values around 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Celebrating Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa begins on Sunday, December 26th, today, and lasts through January 1st. Though it falls around the holiday season, Kwanzaa does not replace Christmas and is not a religious holiday. The seven day celebration is a relatively modern holiday originated in 1966 by Maulana Karenga, a professor from California who wanted to bring together Americans with the cultural spirit of traditional African harvest festivals. So decades later, here in 2021, Kwanzaa is primarily celebrated in the US, Canada, and the Caribbean. Each day of the festival is celebrated with one of the seven Kwanzaa principles. And they're listed below. Unity, self-determination, collective responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. Does anyone have anything they'd like to share about the holiday Kwanzaa, anything that's missing, anything that you celebrate personally that you'd like to share with everyone? Well, I know that each day for the seven days, each one of these principles is featured or focused on per day. So today uh, would be unity and then each day during the week, it will be a different one. And there are different activities that you can do to kind of highlight that principle. Uh, so I, I think it's a wonderful tradition, a cultural tradition to pass on to our families to help focus on some really positive values that we would like to embrace as our, in our families and also in our faith community. If it's not a specifically religious holiday, does that mean anyone can celebrate? Yes, anyone. Um, it has no uh, you know, religious under tones, it's, it's about a cultural practice. And so it embraces all communities, you know, any faith, um, it's not opposed to, to, to uh, the practice is not opposed to any faith or, um, 
or any tradition. So yeah, it's really about bringing together, as, um, as you shared, Brenda, uh, some of the um, um, harvest festival uh, traditions from our African culture, but those are traditions that we see in other cultures also and in indigenous people here in the US and in other cultures around the world. But the principles of Kwanzaa are principles that we find embodied in most all of our religious traditions. And so it brings these traditions together in a focus where we are able to just think about uh, individually, uh, within our families, within our larger communities, within our traditions, within our culture, uh, about the things that we value and how we can pass those values on generation mm -hmm. to generation. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate how this list of concepts is like quite simple, though. I guess it only is on the surface. The more you think about it and the more you engage with it, it's a bit more complex. So that already inspires me. Like, I suppose in the next week, if anyone is interested of like using them as a writing prompt almost, you can think yeah. about the word unity and kind of go into it or meditate on it or have a conversation with someone about it. And then the next day, the same for each concept. Mm -hmm. um, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing this with us. Yeah, you know, I had a quick question for, for um, Wes and Raphael. If there are any specific <clears throat> practices around the holidays that are celebrated or done in Brazil, are there anything that's unique about the celebration of the holidays there that we may not do here in the U.S.? I think uh, one just little detail, it's like we celebrate Christmas on a Christmas Eve. It's, <laughs> So that's, that's a funny for us is when we feel that's the day, right? When it's mm -hmm. the, the, the day of, we just have the leftovers. <laughs> 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 and so we, everybody stays late until midnight. And when, it, when we wait until we get very hungry until midnight, usually we go like, I was like raised in church. So we, we would go to the church. You know, and uh, stay at church until maybe like eleven, and then mm -hmm. everybody goes home and stays. But Bruno doesn't wasn't raised raised in a church, so he might have a different thing. I remember I used to be in the church until like ten p.m., eleven p.m., and then yeah. we would go eat afterwards, very hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is the the only difference that I feel from. On Christmas, and of course, and now Brazil is going to stop until the, the beginning of the next year because we're gonna Brazil. We need any uh, excuse to have holidays. <laughs> so, ah. so now uh, we're just gonna come back to normal uh, uh, after the New Year's. That's the only thing that I pretty much see the difference between and the end of the year between the U.S. and Brazil. I don't know if Bruno knows or can remember something different. That's yeah. great. For me, Christmas here in Brazil, uh, I can I can condense that, that idea in just one thing, a lot of food and a lot of joy. <laughs> a lot of food and a lot of joy. Yeah. Of course, we got some drunk ones driving around, but, <laughs> 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 but it's okay. <laughs> But food and joy, I think those are universal kind of themes uh, uh, yeah. for those that celebrate the holiday. Thank you. Thank you both. Okay, so now is our time to get into it. Um, we're going to open it up to community, everyone that's on the call right now, if you have, I don't think there's a particular order, um, if you'd like to share. No, I think Reverend Beverly is going to go next and then um, Pastor Floyd has something he just wants to share with us, you know, part of this Yay. gratitude and uh, a joy and gratitude, a new endeavor, a venture that he's doing. He would just like to share as he ends the year with the community. And then we'll just, you know, in term, you know, how Brenda's going to go and Wes and Raphael will go and anyone, you know, that's on can just Yay. share something. And I I'm thinking, you know, share something um, as Wes was speaking and Raphael about kind of the things in your own family that was your tradition or that you did yearly that you remember from your birth family growing up or something from this year that you want to just highlight that you have gratitude in your heart for as we end uh, 2021. So uh, Reverend Beverly's going to open us up with another song and I hope she stays around. We may call on her again. Mm -hmm. Joy to the world, 
the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven, heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders of the one his love. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature Beautiful. That was awesome, Beverly. Thank you for sharing. So much love. Thank you. You know that all these songs we have like translations in uh, in Portuguese. So it's so interesting when she sings it. I remember like my church singing the songs and, and mm. with the Brazilian Portuguese words. It is very interesting to see. Like it's very, you know, go, takes me like right there when I was there. So, it's... so are, are the translations pretty much the same or uh, in terms of the, the, the song, the lyrics? It, it, it depends. Some songs they change it totally and some songs they kind of follow you know it depends like some songs they like this one i i, I don't remember they using like in like in a christmas like kind of thing i think they mm -hmm. use using a different but i have to remember actually because i just remember that the words coming from when i was like interesting you hear that you hear it yeah you know? thanks thanks randall so good so good pastor floyd you're muted Hello. Greetings. Welcome. Um, I assume you wanted me to share about yes. my business. Um, I started a new business venture called Brown's Music, where we um, do mastering and mixing. So um, it just started really as in its infancy. Um, we pray that you keep us in prayer, that we grow as God has wished us to grow. Mm -hmm. um, but if I could get a minute, I want to share about Christmas time and my family. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it could be said, I've always been a gift giver. I've always, my my family has been two girls that I did not birth, but have become my family. Um, I would give them anything for Christmas, anything. I would give them money trees one year. Um, I gave them their first piece of jewelry. And some people may say, why'd you do that? Because I'd rather them get a piece of jewelry from me than the man on the street. Um, I believe that wholeheartedly, that a, a woman should get her first diamonds from her father, her first piece of gold from her father. But they really blessed me yesterday. They, um, they showered me with gifts. I can't, I can't tell you how good it felt to see it after all those years, just uh, they said they said to me, 
They said it's our turn to do what you did for us. And I was just amazed. I was just filled with joy. Um, so I just wanted to share that a little bit with y'all. Made me feel good as a man. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it was just refreshing. Refreshing. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's my nephew, Floyd, Pastor Floyd. Yeah. Sister Ruth is on. Sister Ruth, just thank you for being here as we end the year. Would you like to just share anything? I know you have to leave soon. Would you like to share anything with us before you go? Um, I would just like good evening, every, uh, good morning or afternoon. What is yeah. it? Afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. It's really to Bishop and Sister Sandra and to everyone. I'm just thankful. Even though this has been a rough year, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. And I'm thankful. May God continue to bless each of you. Thank you, Ruth. Yes, this has been a tough year for so many of us. A lot of loss. Um, but even still, we're grateful. Bishop, I'm just say hi to Sister Ruth and everyone. Hello, Sister Ruth. How are you feeling today? Wish you I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank God for another year. The Lord has blessed me this week. Amen. Amen. I thank God, too, that he kept you another year. Yeah. I'm going to give you a call this evening. Okay, what time? <laughs> About seven. To call you this evening. Okay. Thank you, Sister Ruth. He's going to what? hold me to it. One minute after you know seven, that. he's going to be calling me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then give him a time because he'll be right. He'll, he'll be looking at the clock. <laughs> right. God bless Thank each you, of you. God bless you. Back to you, Brenda. We want to just bring in some more music now and just Ooh, I'm gonna okay. sit back and just enjoy. Um, okay. So I would like to share something. So I guess I'll go. And then whoever is interested in going right after, you're welcome to jump right in. Um, I'm just gonna use my singing bowl and my voice. And this is kind of like a I guess I'll start with a little bit of the gratitude piece in the sense that this year has been very challenging, but I suppose like a lot of us, right? <laughs> However, I feel really like excited about having my health and my wellness in general, because I've gone through some illness recently that has just been very like surprising or shocking and uncomfortable and painful. So to be able to like walk and breathe deeply and to not have pain is like thrilling to me at this point. It is, it's like a reminder that I am alive, alive without much pain right now. So even when I'm outside and I'm like taking the train or climbing up and down the stairs, I'm like, thank goodness that I have my legs that I can climb, that I have my hands that I can use to create, that I have my voice that I can use to speak. It's like the very simple, simple things have been bringing me so much like happiness recently. And again, connecting with the earth and feeling, reminding myself once again that I am just a creature, one of many, many, many creatures in this universe. And how beautiful it is to exist at this time, to exist with you all at the same time, to have air <laughs> that I can breathe and water that I can drink and cook and clean with. Um, again, the simple things. So I've been listening to a lot of music by a woman. She's a Canadian Colombian woman. Her name is, or her stage name at least is Lido Pimiento. I really like her music. She incorporates a lot of like nature. Um, so there's one song called Jardines, which is gardens. Um, and I kind of went, took a little bit of those lyrics and created something simple <laughs> it's so I call it ser la brisa which means to be 
the breeze. I want to be like the breeze. I want to flow. I don't want anything to stop me. I want to be able to flow and, and surround others as well and give them that refreshing air too. I want to have strength. I want to be connected to this, this planet as much as I can. So I want to be like the breeze, ser como la brisa. I'm going to share with you the lyrics so you can see. I'll sing it in Spanish, but you can see the English there. If you're interested again in seeing the song, it's called Jardines. You can look it up. Look it up. That was beautiful, Brenda. Thank you. It was incredible. <laughs> thank I you love your much. voice. I think you you have an incredible voice. It's wonderful. Thank you. It feels really nice to sing and also to sing a little bit in Spanish. It feels very like real. You have a great voice. Thank you. <sighs> I, I have a, uh, there was a special request made of Wes to um, play a song that, that I heard recently. I don't know if Wes, you want to do that now and then you and, and Raphael can do whatever I want to do together. But Brenda's going to put up the lyrics. Um, I don't know if, how many of you watched the film uh, One Night in Miami. Um, it is a dialogue between uh, Muhammad Ali, Sam Cooke, um, Malcolm X, and Jim Brown. Um, 
back in the 60s at the night of uh, following the Sonny Liston um, Muhammad Ali fight when he became heavyweight champion of the world. And the film was uh, produced, I believe, directed by Regina King. Um, it's, it's a good watch. The soundtrack is really awesome. The um, uh, song is sung, or the soundtrack is sung by Leslie Odom, who also plays Sam Cooke in the film. I love his voice and I love this song, the lyrics of the song and the music, the melody of the song. So Brenda's gonna share the lyrics and Wes is gonna play it for us. I hope you enjoy. The title is Speak Now. Speak Now.
Wow, that that, that was cool. Song, that music, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I just love that the the, the uh, music. Just I don't know. Just I can just feel it all inside. Just the lyrics are just awesome, and the music just beautiful. I Thank wish, you. I wish I could sing it, <laughs> but I, I wasn't born with that. <laughs> But you had the you have the instrument. That was that was really good. I Thank just you. wanna I just wanna say something. I, I want to use this moment to say for me, Christmas is a moment to refine, to refine myself, to refine some friends I lost for some situation. And in the Christmas of 14, um, 2014. I find a group, a good friend, a wonderful musician, my teacher, my friend, my brother, Wesley Amory. Hmm. We all, we was lost from each other. Um, and in that Christmas, uh, the time find a way for us to be together again. And we are now playing. So I, I'm so, I, uh, I'm so glad to, I so glad for that. I feel so, so happy to be, to be here with you guys, with Wesley, with you all. So thank you guys. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad for Wes introducing us to you, Raphael. Thank you. We got really talented people here. We do. we do in all different ways yeah we do Brenda you have a great voice <laughs> we are gonna talk about that okay <laughs> you have a great voice also by the way when I was doing this with my hands that's like silent applause which I learned uh, I don't know in the past again, I believe it again. with ASL I just twist my wrists like it's silent this. applause because I realize when I'm on mute you can't hear me so I show it by doing that oh, it's the same wonderful. as this Right, but okay. if you can't hear me, you can see it. That's by the great. way, that's great. <laughs> um, well, Brenda, I think I think what we'll do next is Reverend John is going to give us kind of a summary of this gratitude and joy, and uh, what we've been talking about today. And then, following Reverend John, we will do a quick announcement, um, and um, then we'll have some more music to to see us out with Wes and uh, Raphael. How's that? How's that sound? Okay. All right. So we're so glad to have Reverend John Gilmore with us today from our Board of Trustees. And uh, we're just happy that he's here. And uh, we're going to hear a word from Reverend John. <laughs> okay, it's good to be here. It's been, um, it's been amazing. I've been thinking about the way the year has been going for a long time. And every time I start thinking about that, and whenever I feel sort of sad or anything about that I think of um, what I have and the thing that many other people are going through right now. And I think this is what really helps us to find gratitude and joy in the world. I'd sort of like to, to wrap up a summary in a um, little poem I wrote a long time ago after I had gone to a Christian and Hindu ashram in India and did yogic practice and I came back and I was like spilling out all these poems. This poem is called A Nice Firm Embrace. I could learn to love this world if it were just a little kinder, if men and women could wear smiles on their faces like the latest fashions and could embrace without the fear of truly enjoying the touch of the other. This is the root of heaven on earth to embrace the light of the beloved, to see the face of the friend in every smile, every laugh, and every tear, to learn to enjoy life while all things are still possible, and mostly to enjoy the subtle sensuality of a nice, firm embrace. And today, I think we were talking about a nice, firm embrace as we meet together, sharing the gifts of music, art, poetry and our personal stories we embrace each other even as the beloved embraces us and out of this embracing and gratitude comes the joy that we can all express together so today this was all about reclaiming that joy 
seeing the world as it is instead of as we are told it should be and using the power of the spirit to walk in love and make that love alive. So thank you all for this great service. Thank you for the poem. I didn't know you wrote poetry. Cool. Yeah. And he also sings. He's a big <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire uh, fan. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a book of poetry I wrote, believe it or not. <laughs> mystical oh. poetry i call it it's all mystical stuff roomy type stuff you know <laughs> i am interested in that i will contact you about that oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you that was great that was great <sighs> so next we'll share some announcements first i don't know if i mm, okay i'll just say it if you would like to become a part of our triumph family or become a member you can check out our website. We have a form that you could fill out. You can also just contact us at triumphlifecenter at gmail.com. Whether as an individual, as a spiritual leader or a minister, or if you were once a part of Triumph and would like to return, we would love to welcome you back. You can also, again, partner with us to support our ongoing mission through financial donations, our annual drive, financial donation drive is happening. We have our cash app, which is dollar sign triumph 2020. Um, or you can email, not email, you can also mail uh, a check or money order to our address at PO Box 2157, Newark, New Jersey 07114. We sincerely appreciate your support and we love you. Um, in regards to announcements, we are going to have our 118th joint board meeting, January 20th to 23rd. So it's coming up in about one month. Um, we'll share more details about it and on our website and during our meetings. And as usual, all of our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube is a big one where you could find a lot of our past recordings and Facebook where we post a lot of our updates. Um, and again, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, any complaints, even <laughs> email us triumphlifecenter at gmail.com. We love yeah. to hear from you. Yeah. So now so we, yeah. we're, we're passing it to Wes and Raphael. Yeah, we have about five more minutes. So, um, you know, just, just serenade us with whatever you would like. Mm -hmm. Bruno's gonna sing and, and, and play, you know. Oh, gonna sing okay. No, let's go. Let's gonna talk. No, let's gonna play uh, Aguas de Mars from by Tom Jobim. Let's go. It's a song that's that's uh, talk about the passage of time, the movement of the earth. So I think it's a good, a good, a good time to play that. Called waters, waters of March. Uh, in Brazil, uh, 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 March it's it, it's when it's the autumn, and in the US it's the spring. It's it's when we change. It's kind of like you know, it's a little bit like a little. It's getting to the autumn. Yeah.
Beautiful. It's so great having the two of you together and uh, just hearing you play together. Really awesome. It is interesting because we are afraid of the delay. Yeah. So I have no idea what's going on there. You know, we are trying to. Play. It was it uh, it was anything that I that I thought it, it, it was <laughs> so gonna be. So each of us are listening to a different song because of the delay, and it's. It's Still. interesting because in, uh, uh, it, it people here uh, listen to a different song. So yeah, yeah. So we all <laughs> have a different experience. <laughs> Which artist do you listen to this song? I looked it up, and there's like quite a few different artists that sing it. The, Waters of March. The main famous one that we all love it's Tom Jobim and Elise Regina. Yeah. Okay. It's a woman, a very powerful woman, like a feminist woman that changed a lot of, you know, Brazil is very macho, it's like a macho country. Uh -huh. And that singer was very important to give power to women. You know, she, like, she was very strong. You see that she's going to have a short hair. That wasn't a good thing at this time. Mm -hmm. so she's an amazing, she would say things that you know, uh, nobody would like expect from a woman. She was amazing. She was amazing. So that woman is very powerful. And she sang that song with the composer Tom Jobim. The, the, so if you look for that, Elise Regina, can you spell? I can, I can write here on the chat. The okay, name. that works. Yes, uh, it's El Elise Regina. And Mr. Tom Jobim. Uh, okay. So this is the, the famous, the best, the best, but... The... Tom, Tom Jobim is the composer of uh, Girl from Panema. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Thanks Thank for sharing you. that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to just find out more about her and then maybe by March and Women's History Month, we'll yeah, just maybe feature some of her music. <laughs> It wasn't primarily only a, a, a lyricist. He was a composer and a, 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 an arranger. But in that song, he wrote the words and he translated it to English. So if you look uh, Waters of March, because in Portuguese is Aguas... Uh, Aguas de Março. Aguas de Março. Which is water of uh, mm. March. And Tom Jobim, he himself wrote the the lyrics, so it's like, and he was a very good like English speaker. He he actually oh, lived a lot in, 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 in New York City. He died in, in Manhattan, uh, in an apartment in, uh, in front of the Central Park. So he wrote the words in English, like amazing words. It's just a, our okay. maybe most non-Brazilian composer. 
Thank you. You're going to add it to our playlist, right, Brendan? Yeah, I found it. Cool. I'll listen after. <laughs> well, so, so this has been awesome. We just want to thank you, everyone here. Um, we want to just note Travis is not with us. We do miss him. He's yes. uh, had some uh, family emergency. So we're sending out our prayers and positive energy to towards Trav, to Brother James, who is celebrating the, the holiday with his family. His extended family we want to just send out our love to him and to uh, our board of trustees, um, to our senior bishop, to all of our family and friends of Triumph. We truly appreciate you and all the support you've given us in 2021, 2022 to 2020 through 2021, as we have been in this virtual space dealing with the uh, pandemic. We just thank God for each and every one of you, for uh, Wes and Raphael, for just adding the joy all year long to what we do through music, um, to our team, to Nadia. Thank you so much for just being you, for, for being here and always being support, backup, and, and behind the scenes support for what we do. Uh, for Brenda, I know you had a tough time, a tough season these last few months, but we're so grateful for you going through it and coming through it. And we're just so thankful for you being you. As I always say, no one can do Brenda like Brenda. Uh, and so we just appreciate you being you. And uh, we send out to the community because I know that a lot of people struggle this time of the year. Um, if I sit and think about the losses, I would be overwhelmed with grief. But even in the losses, um, you know, when the seed is buried in the ground and it dies, if you wait through the season, in the spring, life will come forth. And so even in our grieving, we know that those tears will water the ground. And in due season, the flowers will grow again. Love is always there. It's never lost. It is the only thing stronger than the grave. So we hold that in our hearts. We may not have the person with us, but their love remains with us. And as we move into 2022, my prayer is that we will have health, wellness, abundance of joy, and maintain our grateful heart. God bless you all. Um, Brenda, uh, we're going to forego our usual closing prayer, and we're just going to have a closing song by Reverend Johnson, and we're going to say, Happy holidays and happy new year to all of you. Reverend Johnson. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. If you cannot sing like an angel, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can share the love of Jesus. You can say he, he died for us all. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Be safe. Be well. See you in the new year. God bless.